Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's tutorial on WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at creating templates with the Visual Composer. This is a quick way of creating multiple different layouts that you can use as a basis for all future pages and it really does help speed up the entire process of creating very similar pages throughout your entire website. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So I've got a newly created page in WordPress. So the first thing I need to do is switch on the backend editor so we can start working with the Visual Composer. So let's just give it a click on backend editor and that brings up the normal Visual Composer intro screen. You can see that we've already got some layouts already created for us that ship as part of the Visual Composer. But what we're going to take a look at is creating our own and how easy it is to work with that. So let's just create a couple of basic elements that are going to make up the basis for our new template. So we'll click to add a new element and I'll just click add a row. We'll just put a text block in there. We'll leave it with the filler text that comes with it. I'll split this up to be two columns and we'll just drop in, um, well, we just pop another text block in there. I'm not really being too picky, but what I'm putting in, it's more a case of how this works as opposed to what we're doing with it. Um, we'll just say we're gonna put separate in here. Let's just say we're gonna put a single image in. I won't worry about actually putting an image in there. I'll just set my alignment to be center. Save my changes. Reorder these, so that's at the top. Uh, we'll just quickly put a separator in there. And we'll change some of the styling on that. We'll say we're gonna have that as double. And save it. So we've got a simple page layout that we may wanna use time and time again. So what we need to do to create a template is to simply click on the template icon in the top left hand corner of the Visual Composer and that brings up some simple options. We've got the template name and the templates that we may have previously created will be listed below. We've also got defect, default template options. Now these, as I say, are ones that ship with Visual Composer itself so you can use any of these but we're going to come back into my templates and create our own. So we're just going to give this a name and we'll call this Simple to column plus header image. Something that's descriptive that makes sense to me. So we'll click Save Template. And there's our first template created. We can close this down. Now what will happen is, because we've created a template with these basic building block elements, when we use this template, everything that's in this page, any images we've got included, any text, the layout, the columns, everything about this particular design will be used in our template. So when we invoke that template on a new page, all this text that sits in the two columns will be transposed over to it. And if we add any images in there, they'd be using it as well. So it's worth noting that when you're creating this, if you're gonna use this page as a real live page, set up the basic building blocks of it, set the layout up, don't bother putting any content into your different text boxes and your different image boxes and things like that if you're not gonna use them on every page. So you're starting off with a simple clean canvas that just has the basic elements that create the page layer that you wanna work with. Once you've done that, save your template and then when you go to the next page and apply that template to it, it will take over just those building block elements that you can then go in and quickly edit, add the new content in there, add your images, any other elements that you may wanna use can all be added quickly and easily inside that new page utilizing your template. So I'm gonna update this page a second. And we'll say that we're happy with that and we'll leave that. And what I'll do now is I'll create a new blank page and we'll apply that template to it just so I can show you how easy it is to invoke that template and have the building block elements ready to start working. So let's click create a new page. And we'll just call this one my new page, just remember what I call it, invoke the back end editor, click on the templates icon again, and as you can see we've got in this instance only one template but we can have as many templates as we wanted, we'll just click and that will then load that up with all of the settings, all of the information we put into that template where we saved it and apply that to this new page. So you can see everything we had has now been added to this new page. I can now publish this page and it's gonna have everything I need in there. 
and I can just come back in at any point and edit, edit any of these elements or start adding additional elements or moving them around to fine tune and tweak this individual page. So it's a quick and easy way of creating similar layout, or identical layouts that you can then use as the basis to customize or leave them as they are and just change the content to match the, the information you need on that particular page. So that's all there is to working with the basics of templates in Visual Composer. It's a quick and easy method of speeding up your entire work process. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the section below this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. All these things help and make us making videos for YouTube for you to help out. It just makes it so much easier. So until next time, take care.